Hello everybody, this is Runico, and I am back with another Clash of Clans video. But as you can see, I'm not actually on my previous base that I showed you, my main account. This is on my iPhone, and um, I decided to make a second account in order to make a concept base. And it's going to be called Hidden Defense. Basically, the idea is to upgrade everything else besides defense building so I'm not gonna even build them like I have the cannon right but that's because it's required in the tutorial which I built less than uh, actually started the tutorial less than 24 hours ago so I started playing just now but I already have like some things upgraded pretty far and that way you don't have to worry about defensive buildings or upgrading them so I'll just be upgrading uh, elixir collectors mines storages things that I'm gonna need in order to train huge armies to go raid other people's bases basically and of course I'll be raided pretty easily because I won't have defensive buildings but the idea is I'm gonna use hidden defense right so I can use bombs like I already have two of these and they're already level two I can use spring traps which will fling enemies away from my base basically and uh, hidden Teslas, which I'll get later on, like Town Hall 8 or something. But for now, I'm just going to use these hidden uh, bombs, spring traps, and uh, walls. So I'll have to use the mob AI or whatever in order to lure them into tunnels where they all get trapped uh, with the bombs or the spring traps and take them out that way instead of relying just on defensive buildings. So it should be interesting. Of course, uh, it's not going to be a great defense, but hopefully it'll be fun. We'll see how things work and um, maybe figure out how the AI of these troops works. And uh, it'll help us out with uh, my main account. Anyways, I think this should be pretty fun. Um, I already have a bunch of this stuff upgraded pretty far. Level 3 cannon, level 5 storage, and I've been playing for less than a day. So right now I'm building... Or training some troops. I already have giants, and this barracks is about to have giants as well. So yeah, I'm going pretty fast because I don't have to worry about defensive buildings. Um, I'm training my camps right now, so I could uh, disable my shield because I have a two-day shield right now. <clears throat> that's still left from the three-day shield you get when you start. And we're gonna go uh, rate some people, see how well we can do, and then uh, we'll get attacked as well because I won't have the shield. So yeah, that should be fun. I'll be right back when I finish uh, training these troops. Alright, here we are. Uh, my troops have finished training. And first thing I want to show you guys is my defensive strategy. My first defensive strategy that I have right now. Uh, as you can see, the cannon is right in the center of the village. And if somebody's going to attack from the outside, they're going to be busy breaking the... The stuff on the, around the outside and the cannon will be continuously hitting them so by the time they get to the cannon hopefully the cannon would have taken care of them so that's my first little defensive strategy and then the second part here is that the camps army camps are way on the outsides here so the army will have to travel really far and hopefully by that time the time runs out and they won't get the three stars so that's just my first little defensive thing since I am going to be taking down the shield because I am going to go attack somebody so okay normally you wouldn't want to take down the shield right away because um, you won't have a lot of stuff yet you want to upgrade as much um, things first but because I didn't have any defensive buildings I kind of didn't need to so let's see if we can find somebody with a lot of loot like see this guy He's got like a level 2 cannon and that's about it. He already has his shield down. Um, oh man, this guy has a ton. What I'm trying to get is 25,000 elixir so I could uh, buy a laboratory, which you can use to upgrade your troops to higher levels to make them stronger. So that's a really good thing to have. So yeah, right now I'll, I'll just be probably looting people trying to get that 25,000 all right let's see 
don't see any good loot. Actually, this might be good. Yeah, why not? Let's just take this on. Alright, so I've made some giants. Those cost a lot. So let's just throw those in there. Throw these guys in here. And then put some archers right here. Just take out the defensive. There you go. These giants are wrecking face. Yeah, I probably didn't even need to use all these ships. But whatever. Let's see if I need to use the goblins. Probably won't need to. Got two minutes, 30 seconds. They're wrecking face. There's no more defense left. Yeah, I don't need to use goblins. <laughs> I guess I overestimated how much attack power I'll need. That's that's a good thing. See, I upgraded my army camp to level 2 already. Both of them. So, I've got 60... I think 60 uh, troop capacity, which is crazy. But yeah, it's nice. What I'll be doing is focusing mostly on army. Maxing them out, maxing out the army camp so I can have the most amount of troops. And then trying to max out my troops themselves so they're really strong. And I think, yeah, that'll be like my priority for this hidden defense base. Oh yeah, check this out. Took all the loot, it's gonna be a 3 star. It's awesome. Oh man, my gold storage is almost full. I have to upgrade that next. Perfect. Nice. Do I get a loot bonus? I don't think so. I'm not in a league yet. Yay, look at that. Did I get something? Oh, cool. Ten emotes. Okay, so in 33 minutes, my uh, level 5 elixir will be finished. And I guess I'll upgrade my gold storage for 3000. Sweet! So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. I'll be making more of these uh, progress videos for this hidden base. And um, so yeah, if you want to watch them, feel free. And uh, it should be fun. Thanks and see you later.